Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 17th, 2021. Well, yesterday we finally got through that FOMC and we did get a price reaction, but it, I gotta be honest with you, it's, it's kind of remarkable to me that financial metrics really do not matter to the market anymore. We love our debt. We love, we love high price stocks. And there seems to be nothing that will, um, well, get this market uh, pulling back. Um, it's, it's pretty darn remarkable. We have PPI numbers that the producer prices um, hit the highest level in history. And um, the FOMC says, you know what? We acknowledge in inflation. We see that it's here and we expect it to go even higher, but we're gonna stay the course. We're gonna continue printing $120 billion a month, buying up debt, building the balance sheet, and the market had an initial negative reaction to that um, with the suggestion that they may move up a possible interest rate increase to sometime in 2023. But honestly, um, almost nothing happened here. We, um, we sold off strongly initially and then rallied right back up for the most part. There was some technical damage here yesterday, and let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we want to approach the market today on the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Let's take a look at these charts. Um, the only real technical damage that was created yesterday is in the diamonds. The Dow broke down through its 50-day moving average and um, closed below that level. Now we saw some selling overnight. Dow futures were down about 160 points at one point. But as we move closer to the, the morning open, the pre-market pump has those lifting back up substantially off those lows. So the critical thing um, going to be here is, can we push this back above the 50-day moving average? I gotta tell you, um, with um, all the evidence that I see in the other indexes, I'm gonna say, yep, um, probably going to happen. So take a look here. We we. Um, essentially broke this trend. We broke that trend down, pushing us um, lower, broke down through that 50-day moving average. And now we're getting that pre-market little push here, trying to recover just a bit. Now, what's going to be critical in this, in this area is that 50-day moving average. Notice our shorter term averages, the 34 turning just a little bit lower. I've got a 20-day moving average in there. Um, kind of flat in that eight exponential moving average pushing down. So we are creating a little bit of a moving average squeeze right in this area, a little bit of moving average resistance. And that's combining with some moving or some price action resistance up here in the chart. But the way the market is, is acting, we don't care about anything um, in debt anymore. None of that stuff matters. So it is entirely possible we could push right back up through this level. And the reason I say that is the other indexes are showing no sign of concern whatsoever um, um, with this um, information. So we do have a little bit of a downtrend here to be worried about in the chart. And as we rally back up, let's watch this price resistance level and see if we can actually push back up and close above that 50 day. Now, the real problem, the real selling that could come in if it does occur in the Dow would be that rally back where we fail around that 50 day moving average. If we were to push up in here and then not be able to push through and get a failure at that point, we call this a blue ice failure pattern. And that is one of my favorite shorting patterns in the market. However, um, saying that, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY looks like, well, we had a pretty volatile day pushing down but almost nothing happened here. We continue to maintain the upside trend. We acknowledge inflation, but we really don't care. And um, we held on to this trend and we held on to price support 
in the chart. So let's keep an eye on this. SPY certainly has that ability and it's largely being helped by the NASDAQ stocks. Um, remember 40% of the SPY is made up by seven tech stocks. And if they can keep those moving up, then we can see the SPY continuing to move to the upside. And holding on to this price support, we could certainly push right back on through. I see no evidence in this chart um, as to why we couldn't make new record highs here in the very near future so keep a close eye on that we're holding those support levels we're hanging in there just fine although we did have a little bit of bearishness and we're pushing just a little bit lower here this morning pre-market futures are saying we don't care we're pushing back up so watch that closely spy still looks very bullish trend is bullish i also have to say the same about the nasdaq the qqq pushed up we broke through some resistance highs here in the chart and then we kind of rejected that that um the next day we we pushed that back down with kind of an inside candle day yesterday was a little bit disappointing um that we continued to sell sell off here in the queues but notice that we really rallied this is a, a nice little hammer pattern um trying to show um, in the market it's like everybody just came rushing back in and said we don't care about no stinking inflation we just want to keep buying so as you can see there's that possibility that we could push right back up through that level trend this little short-term trend stays in place um, no harm no foul um, more upside to potentially be made here in that chart. Now, the question, again, even in the SPY, the question is going to be if, if we rally back into this resistance area and turn south, that could be a problem for us. But for now, we're not seeing evidence of that. We don't see anything in here that suggests, hey, we're gonna turn bearish. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM had a little bit more of a technical problem here in the chart. Remember, we pushed up into this resistance area and we failed at that area. And then we even put in a little bit of a lower high uh, to follow that, which followed through with a lower low. But by the end of the day, we recovered that completely. We pushed right back up in a kind of a hammer pattern in that chart. We're holding on to price support levels in this chart and we're starting to trying to show some bullish this this morning so i think the only thing that's really going to be a major issue here is if we once again rally back up into this area and are unable to get through that if we can't get through that again and we see some more selling in there there could be a little bit of a technical problem showing up but for now um, no evidence that the bears um, are willing to push to the downside. So stay with the trend, stay with the bullish side of the market until that ends. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. The VIX, can't type this morning, I guess. The VIX, although the, we pushed right back up yesterday, notice that the VIX closed a little bit higher. We had a little bit of fear in the market um, coming in. However, we're not breaking back above this um, big price resistance area in here. And although we may have kind of poked our nose through that little downtrend right there, I don't see anything major here as a problem in that. We tested that 50-day moving average. We popped through it initially and then we sold back off. So we're still holding underneath that 50-day moving average doesn't seem to be any major fear here and this morning once again we're seeing futures trying to push back up it might increase just a little tiny bit we might come up in here and test this area but as long as we stay below i think that 20 handle in the chart um, we have that potential that we could continue moving up in the market and see fear continue to drop out. It's only if we cross back up into here and maybe hold a higher low 
that's where the problem would come in. So we still have to stay on our toes. Don't, don't think this is the all clear that says, hey, there's never going to be a sell-off in the market. Still think it's coming and it could be pretty substantial when it does. But at least at the moment, we're not showing too many signs that anyone is concerned that that's right around the corner. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122, that four-week new high, new low ratio, we pushed down just a little bit below the mid-range here, as you can see. So T2122 is not giving us a direction. We've been up here and I've been warning of a potential sell-off and that has proved to be correct, but it really didn't extend. It really didn't um, gain any momentum. So keep an eye on that. What this means is, is we still have a substantial open space that we could go to the downside or if those bulls can grab a hold, we can find that inspiration. There is plenty of upside opportunity now here in that chart. So um, kind of sitting on the fence here on T2122, we could go either direction depending on who becomes inspired. And we will have to watch that bull bear battle with the overhead resistance that we have in the charts. We'll wanna keep an eye on that bull bear battle. That'll be the battleground right there at that resistance level to see they're gonna to continue to fight for dominance there. We'll have to watch that pretty closely. And then let's take a look at T2101. T20, oh, for Pete's sake. T2101, even in that sell move, yeah, as we sold off yesterday, we didn't see an increase in market breadth. And I would have expected um, if we were really going to sell off, we would see that market breadth increasing. Didn't happen. So, um, here again, we continue to languish just a little bit. No momentum really on either side. I don't know exactly what that means or when this will break, um, when we'll pick that momentum off up, I don't know. It, if we get a big momentum surge on a buy wave though, that's gonna be bullish. So no, uh, no real mo momentum on that selling wave yesterday. I was just like, ho-hum, we don't care. Um, let's move on. So let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. We do have a couple things that could move us around here just a little bit on that economic calendar, but nothing like we have just gone through here the last few days. Um, keep an eye on um, this this morning. We have jobless claims. Those have been coming in a little bit better. Um, claims have been dropping just a little bit um, as um, the economy reopens and companies are, are hiring. So watch that. The Philly Fed number can certainly move the market around. Keep an eye on that. Um, but after passing through the information that we've, we've just had, I'm not sure it's going to be overly, um, well, overly considered. Just but watch those closely, they can move the market. Um, we do have natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet, but we don't care about that. As long as, the, long as the Fed continues to print money, that's all that matters to us right now in the market. Just keep printing money, keep the market going up. Um, we don't care about what the long-term result of that is. So let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, um, only has we only have um, eight companies on the calendar today, but we do have a few more notables than we've had the last few days. So let's take a look at those. Um, ADBE, um, Adobe will be reporting this afternoon. Keep an eye on that. ADBE has been in a, a really really strong upside move here. I would say almost parabolic move in the last few days here to the upside getting just a little pullback heading into that earnings report, but let's watch that closely, see if um, they can get some inspiration to continue to move higher in ADBE. Uh, JBL. JBL has been in an amazing upside trend that just continues to go and go and go. JBL is looking strong here. We'll want to watch this earnings report. Looks like in the pre-market, we're getting a little bit of a pop and drop at the moment where we popped up maybe on that earnings report and pulling back. Challenged, being a little bit challenged by some highs here in the chart, but let's watch that closely. We're also going to get um, um, earnings from Kroger today. Kroger could be interesting, and this is one of those 
um, food sectors that could certainly be affected by inflation. So watch that closely um, as Kroger reports um, popped up nicely here, but pulling back. Um, might find a little support right in there. And if it fails through there, it might find some support right in here. So watch that closely. And last but not least, um, SWBI, um, Smith and Wesson will be reporting today. Um, one thing that the pandemic has created is a tremendous demand in guns and um, ammo. Folks have been buying these, uh, well, they just about can't make them fast enough. So watch this closely um, as this reports, it could be kind of an interesting report if they report um, still holding on to this trend. We have pulled back. If they catch a nice report on that, could break through. If they disappoint, watch that right there. We could break down through that little price support and create a little bit of a negative issue for SWBI. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And guys, if you could help me out also in sharing this video, click that share button and, and, and drop that into your social media feed. Helps, it just helps other people find um, these videos. If you find them helpful, maybe others will as well. And by sharing that, it helps a lot. And also click that thumbs up button and leave those comments. The more engagement we get in the video, people responding and engaging, it helps um, the algorithm show these videos to more folks. And I just wanna say thank you to, to there are so many folks that I, I just wanna say thank you to um, that have continuously supported the channel. And I truly, truly appreciate that. And thank you so much to everyone who has uh, supported the channel with a buy me a coffee link. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And that link is just below the title of the videos, uh, by the way. So um, let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up. And please realize that some of this um, it could be a little bit of back and forth today. There could be a little bit of volatility today as those bulls and bears try to battle this out. So um, be a little bit careful and cautious, but um, take a, um, a close look at some of these charts. Remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence in these charts and understand the risk. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Let's take a look at iHeart. This has been an incredible upside run. Just a beautiful 45 degree trend moving up. And notice we had a little consolidating move right there. And we're popping through yesterday. Yesterday, during all of that weirdness in the market, iHeart found a reason to pop my alert and wanting to go on up. Keep a close eye on that. Nice looking chart may have that opportunity to push right on through to that upside. Take a look at space, SPCE. Now, even though we had that wild and crazy action in the market yesterday, space just didn't care. Um, held right in here in this nice little consolidation after breaking through this resistance. Watch this, if this finds that inspiration to pop on through. This stock has proven it can really move. So watch that carefully. Now it's a high implied volatility stock, but um, watch that because when that thing takes off, it can just, <laughs> to use a pun, it can just go to the moon really fast. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, some stocks like Nvidia. NVIDIA, this is one of the tech stocks that's holding up really well. And this is going to be um, doing a, a a stock split here soon. So keep a close eye on that. This is a, a nice little resting pattern in here. Watch for that next opportunity for this to move on higher. NVIDIA looking good. I'm gonna also have to put Apple in that list. Tech has been trying to pick up and big tech is trying to pick up despite the fact that, boy, it seems like um, it's a, 
bipartisan effect um, going on in Congress to really slow these guys down. And we're seeing um, antitrust things popping up all around the world against these companies. But Apple is looking very, very good here. Despite all of that, we, didn't, we don't care. And as you can see in here, moving up in this trend, watch this right over here as we slide out here just a little bit closer to that trend. It could be even today that Apple could pick up that energy and start moving on through to the upside. Watch that one closely. And another one would be Microsoft. Microsoft um, pushed up here into some resistance levels and you can see we had a little bit of volatility yesterday along with the rest of the market pulling back but if that can come right back up notice we have this little trend in here if that can come right back up through this level and hold I think Microsoft has that possibility for new record highs in the very near future so watch that one closely um nio nio has been looking really really good and although we had that uh volatility yesterday in the market nio really didn't respond negatively to that so keep a close eye on this holding up quite well uh, pushing back toward this trend and support looks like it may want to continue moving to the upside I also want to um, make note of um, financials if we take a look at XLF now we've had a little bit of selling in those financials here recently we broke some trends in um, XLF and a lot of those financial stocks have pulled back but yesterday's um, FOMC kind of suggested there'd be no reason for them to really pull back because we're just going to keep pumping $120 billion a month to the banks. Um, so watch that closely, um, that possibility. We found some support in there yesterday, and this has that opportunity that we could maybe start perking up and move back up in those financials. And last but not least, energy. Um, Anytime we have rising inflation, we're going to see oil, gas, um, those kind of stocks um, get stronger. Clearly, we have inflation. The, uh, the Fed acknowledged inflation and even said we expect it to move even higher. So watch that closely. Um, energy stocks are looking pretty good, and there are quite a few out there um, showing good patterns for potential buying. So watch those close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great results. Everyone, take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here right and early Friday morning, which by the way, I need to remind everyone Friday, I will do the morning prep video, but I won't be around during the day. Um, I'm going to be taking um, three days off. My son is coming to visit and celebrate Father's Day and my birthday at the same time. So um, thank you, everyone. Um, uh, I will be here first thing in the morning, but gone the rest of the day. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day.